In 2009, we made history together. Equality NC Foundation supporters, allies, staff, and board worked harder than ever before, and it paid off. We fought off the marriage discrimination amendment for the sixth year in a row and remain the only southern state to keep such discrimination out of our Constitution. We held on to our recent gains in HIV prevention and care funding despite the $4 billion budget shortfall. We helped end abstinence-only sex education by passing the Healthy Youth Act, ensuring that our young people know how to protect themselves from sexually transmitted infection. And finally, we passed the School Violence Prevention Act, helping to end the epidemic of anti-LGBT violence in our schools and putting sexual orientation and gender identity into our state laws for the first time. Join us as we celebrate some of the Voices for Equality who helped us achieve this historic victory. This month alone, we have seen two 11-year-old boys who were bullied to the point that they choose to end their lives rather than endure any more torment at school. They both hung themselves in their families' homes, they both were found by their mothers, and they both deserve better. Twenty-six having voted in the affirmative and twenty-two in the negative, Senate Bill 526 having passed its third reading, the amendment will be engrossed and it will be sent to the House. To oppose this bill because you're uncomfortable with one of those categories is to fight the culture war on the back of a child. Every single argument against this bill either has nothing to do with it or is simply false. Our choice today is to have the political will and the political courage to protect the children of this state regardless of who they are because each one of them is in a likeness of God and they are our responsibility to protect. Or maybe the victim is a 10-year-old little boy who just finished the fifth grade. Maybe he's real small for his age, the smallest in his class. Maybe he doesn't like contact sports, but instead loves to dance and sing and perform in the school production. He's a natural. Maybe he's a fan of soft colors and likes to wear pink like his dad. Maybe he's blessed to have his mother's good looks and have beautiful skin and soft facial features. Maybe he likes to hang out with girls because he's not rough enough for the boys. Maybe because of all these things he's called sissy boy, gay, homo, or even worse. I'm going to count my votes as yes. And when my daughter and I, who's serving this page this week, go out to eat and go home tonight, I'm going to go see her little brothers who will be in bed asleep. I'm going to lean across that bed and kiss my 10-year-old goodnight. And I'm going to know that I voted the right way the way to protect him and other children like him. And if that costs me my seat in this chamber, then so be it. Dr. Locke Machine, record the vote. 58 having voted in the affirmative, 57 in the negative. The Senate Committee substitute for Senate Bill 526 is passed as third reading and will be enrolled and sent to the governor. With those words and Governor Purdue's signature, our state took a huge first step towards the day when all kids and all people can be who they are and love who they love without fear. Thank you for helping us make that day come sooner.